y'all welcome back to my youtube channel today is april 11th which means tomorrow i actually turn 26 years old my birthday is on easter this year and unfortunately we we're supposed to do a big fish fry with all the family tomorrow but there's this virus going around so it's just going to be a low-key day anyways this morning i thought it would be fun to film a vlog i don't know what we're going to get into today but i'm about to head into the kitchen make some iced coffee and get my day started Let's do this, y'all. breakfast this morning Cody and I are trying something new that we have never tried before this is like a viral recipe that's going around on TikTok, so we had to give it a try basically what you need is some bread slices some eggs some lunch meat some cheese and a little bit of butter I'm gonna come over here and attempt to figure out how to turn on this gas stove I still cannot figure this out why is this not turning? Oh, crap. Come on. Light. Light, baby. Light. Light, baby. Light. Oh, dang it, y'all. I'm not good at this. There we go. I am still trying to figure out this gas stove. So we're going to let that heat up for just a minute. All right. We're going to give this viral breakfast sandwich a try. So I'm adding maybe a tablespoon or so of butter into the bottom of my skillet, making sure I get butter all over it so the egg does not stick. Up next, I have three eggs that I scrambled and I'm gonna pour those into the bottom of the skillet. Up next, I am going to take two slices of bread and what you're gonna do is dip it and then flip it and then do the same on the other side. And now, you're just gonna kinda leave it here and cook it until the egg is set. My egg is pretty much set. Now I'm gonna take this giant spatula, slip it under both pieces of bread, and we're gonna attempt to flip this. Oh, that worked better than I thought it would. Score. I'm gonna add a slice of cheese, a couple of slices of ham, and another half of a slice of cheese just for good measure. What I'm going to do next is fold the eggs in over the side and then you fold the bread over the top of each other and then you just kind of let it crisp up like a grilled cheese sandwich is that not the coolest idea ever y'all let's do a little flip and let the other side get toasted up now i'm just gonna pull this pretty awesome breakfast sandwich off the heat serve it on a plate and cody's breakfast is ready Hey guys, so there has been a little bit of a change of scenery since the last video. We have been waiting for a day to come out on the water and try and run our boat. We've been having some more engine issues, but we're trying to get all of the gas run out so we can get fresh, new, clean gas in our tank. So we figured while we had a couple of hours without rain today, we would load up on the boat and come out here do a little bit of riding around and hopefully get some of that fuel drained out. So let's do some boating. Well, we had some motor trouble, but we were able to make it back, thankfully. So we're out of the water and we're about to head on back home. Well, we are out of the water. We had a good couple of hours on the boat. We did a little bit of fishing, did not do any catching but we ended up having some motor issues with our boat. It's something that started the last time we went out and I think we have water in our fuel and we added some treatments into it and we were hoping that the problems were gonna go away. They didn't, so 
I think we're going to have to order a 55 gallon drum and siphon out all of the gas out of our fuel tank, which is a lot of fun, a lot of money down the drain. But it is what it is. We've got to take it all out, clean it out, get some new fuel, and it should be running like a champ. Just, it is what it is. Got water in the tank, got to fix it. So we're going to go drop off the boat and then go pick up the pups, which are at my parents' house. And that's what we're up to. Do y'all want a snack? I got y'all a snack. Here you go. You gotta come out to get it. Come on, ladies. Oh yeah. They love them some leftover spaghetti noodles. It's kind of like worms. They were begging for a treat, so they get a little leftover spaghetti. Hey y'all. So again, I'm Lisa Catherine's mom. And just to let y'all know, yesterday I was reading an article and the article said the number one recipe that's been Googled in, um, during this stay at home time while we're flattening the pandemic curve has been banana bread. So I, I know why, if y'all are like me, you bought way too many bananas when this whole thing started, they're going bad and you're trying to figure out what to do with them. And so in honor of that number one Googled, and my bananas, the extra that I have. I went through my recipe box, and I don't know if you can even see it. So my friend Kay High gave me this banana bread recipe in 1986. So I'm gonna um, make this recipe. It actually is one of my favorites. I've made a couple of different kinds through the years, but I'm making Kay's 1986 recipe, and I've loved it ever since she, she gave it to me. So we're gonna start off, and you know it's an old timey recipe because it uses shortening. So I'm using Crisco shortening, and um, of course I could probably change it out and use butter, but for this is always good, it always tastes good, it comes out great, and it's just what I wanna use. So a half a cup of Crisco shortening, one and a half cups of sugar, and two eggs so we're going to add that here to the mixer and turn it on oh look at that double one-handed egg crack <laughs> too many years of practice all right so let's get that going while we get the rest of the stuff ready we're going to get the dry ingredients ready so let me see it's a fourth of a teaspoon of bacon powder a half of a teaspoon of salt, and three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda. So there's a fourth and a half. Kind of limit my spoons there that I have to wash. So, you know, with your dry ingredients, you want to kind of stir them all together to get them ready to add to your wet ingredients there. Yeah, it's in two cups of flour. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Two cups of flour. Thanks, Catherine, for reminding me. So, we got all that that we're going to put together. And I've got a half a cup of buttermilk. And, y'all, I didn't have any buttermilk, so I made my own. Do y'all know how to make your own buttermilk? It's um, lemon juice mixed with milk. It kind of curdles the milk, and it, it's a good substitute for buttermilk if you don't have any. So, I'm going to cream my, dry, my wet ingredients a little more. I'm going to start adding my dry. Add a little of my buttermilk. Just alternating the wet and the dry. I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. While that's mixing up, let me show you these bananas. So, these bananas are perfect for banana bread and these last two I'm gonna put in the freezer for smoothies. But they're soft, they're brown, they're nice and sweet. They're too mushy to eat by themselves or cereal, but that's when they're absolutely perfect for banana bread and smoothies. So I've squished up three of them. I just peeled them and I use my fork to squish them up. And um, I'm getting ready to add these to my banana bread mix. So the recipe says a cup of mashed bananas, which basically that's about three bananas or so, depending on the size of your banana. 
So I'm just gonna mix those in just a little bit. I got the batter off, got my bowl. I'm gonna add a cup of chopped walnuts. Stir it up here. And this is ready to go in the oven. And the rest, I kinda like to make mine look like a cake just because it's banana bread's a little bit drier and banana cake is is just a little bit moister the way you cook. It just has to do with the container that you're cooking it in. So I'm putting it in my pan and I'm gonna bake it at 350 for 30 minutes or until the um, knife comes out clean when I test it. Catherine asked me to show y'all what else I cooked today. So when you look at this, what this is, is we went fishing uh, this summer with the fishing magician, Captain Frankie's boat in uh, Orange Beach, Alabama. And we caught a lot of red snapper. I don't know if you saw our pictures, but but we also caught some mackerel. And mackerel's a, a kind of a darker meat fish. And I'm not real fond of it for frying it or baking it, but this is the way I cook it. So it's like a tuna fish. If you love tuna salad, you will love this. It's taking a cheaper dark meat fish, poaching it in some salt water. It's just a real, mackerel's a real thick cut fish, but um, poached it in some salt water drained it once it cooled i made um a mackerel salad so instead of a tuna salad it's it's made with um fresh dark meat mackerel so it looks like a tuna i don't know what you put in yours but um so you make it just like a tuna salad so it's got boiled eggs and celery I have purple onions i squeezed a whole lemon in it because it's fresh fish see the big chunks of fish in there so there was a i squeezed a whole lemon and um and pickle relish and mayonnaise. So that's my recipe for, for tuna salad, but it's really great when you make it with, with fresh caught um, mackerel. Y'all, I am so excited. Look at my little bell peppers that are growing on our bell pepper plant. There's like five or six of them. Look at that, we're growing veggies. Then over here, this tomato plant has so many tomatoes on it. I don't even eat tomatoes. Oh, look, there's a ripe one in there. Oh. Oh my gosh, we have our first tomato. Oh, how cool. Barney, I'm talking about the veggies, not you. But look, there is tomatoes all over this darn plant. It has exploded. So I took the banana bread out of the oven and I'm sure y'all know how to do the knife trick to make sure the cake is done where you take a knife, you stick it in it and oops, look at that. It did not come out clean. So I'm gonna stick it back in and cook it for about five more minutes. Mom's banana bread is done and it looks like some people have already dug into it and I've got to give it a try. It's been so long since I've had a bite of this. Got my little slice of banana bread and let's give this a try. Oh my god, that is so good. So good. Me and mom decided that we're going to make a little charcuterie slash snacking board with just some of the random things we have in our fridge that we want to start munching on. So we have this jalapeno peach cheese ball mix. We've got a couple of different types of dried meats, some salami, some prosciutto. We have different cheeses, some gouda, asiago, I guess mom just popped in with some berries. Ooh, those berries look really good. She has some olives, which I don't like olives, but she does. Olives and my little tiny little pickles that I like. Oh, cool. So I guess we're about to throw together a little snacking board. And I'm really excited because this is probably my favorite thing ever. Check out this beautiful charcuterie tray that me and mom put together. We got all kinds of meats and cheeses and fruits and veggies. And this is an olive loaf with some brie in the middle. Does this not look fabulous? Oh my gosh. This is our dinner tonight, y'all. Just a little snackety board. Someone decided that they wanted to come sit on the pool chair with me. What do you want? 
You used to hate me after I rescued you. And now you won't leave me alone. You are spoiled. Rotten. Rotten. Look at her. You're just chilling right next to me. What is it? What is it, Trouble Bear? Well, we are back at the house after having that fabulous cheese board that me and my mom put together for dinner tonight. It was so much fun just to have a little snacky board for dinner. That is like my absolute favorite thing in the world is charcuterie boards. So I thoroughly enjoyed it. As soon as I got home, I jumped in the shower, which is why my hair is sopping wet. But before I closed out this vlog, I thought I would show you the new layout we did with our living room and let me know your thoughts. I think it flows a heck of a lot better than it did. So yeah. Let me show you. So we ended up kind of shifting everything on the rug a wall over. So instead of having the rug long ways, it's now long ways against that wall. And it kind of makes a defined area between like the sitting area right here and the dining area, which we have right here. And I think it just flows so much better. Don't y'all like that a lot more than what I had? And then the top of my entertainment center that we have in here, we actually moved it into the bedroom right there just to kind of get it out of the way. But yeah, look at that. It just flows so much better, don't y'all think? Well, y'all, I think it is now past my bedtime and there's a Cooper, say hello Cooper. So I think I'm about to get ready to head to bed for the night. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.